Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy from Toronto again, doing this YouTube thing. So, as you can see, I have the Hubson H501S on my left and the MJX Bugs 2W on my right. Love both of these quads, but this video is about whoever's sitting on the fence, they already have the H501S and was thinking of getting the, the Bugs 2C or the Bugs 2W, or you have this one thinking of getting that one, or you would just, just want both of them, all right? This is the video to watch because I've had, you know, pretty good experiences with both of them. I had them both for a little while now. So that's what this video is about. So sit tight and listen to some real talk about these guys. All right. See you. All right, so I've had the Helpson H501S for about two years now. Never had a problem with this bird. Never had a problem. I got this one around Christmas time, 2017, yeah. and it's awesome also. So they both have 1080p cameras. All right, they both have GPS. They both have very good range. And they got, you know, return to home and all that sort of stuff in headless mode. All right, so two years I've had this no issues at all you know it has a 5.8 gigahertz built-in monitor which is good um, it has follow me great awesome camera on this thing great picture and the range is i mean i've heard guys went about a a kilometer and a half and myself without doing this range mod here I've gone 600 meters, no problems, no breakup. I just decided to turn around because I was about to hit the highway. You know, I didn't want to risk that. So, I mean, you can get a thousand meter range on this thing. And it's super fast. I mean, it's not as fast in GPS mode, but uh, you put it in only altitude hold and this thing is like a rocket. It moves really fast, you know. Look at that thing, Love man. this thing, never crashed it nothing so i was you know sort of humming and hawing about getting this one when it came out last summer you know because i'm thinking i i've done a few videos on this actually i mean i have this one it has all the features and more you know so why would i get this one you know what i mean that i did a few videos on it why would i get something that's almost exactly the same except supposedly the range goes further than that but it's a, it's not a totally different bird. It's I mean, it's same size pretty much. The props I think are the same size. Maybe this one's a couple millimeters longer, but it's a little bit of a different bird. I mean, this has Wi-Fi nice. FPV as opposed to this 5.8 gigahertz. Um, the range is a thousand meters on it until it hits that geo fence thing. But apparently, it can go further than that. Um, the video is not that great. I mean, this is the Bugs 2W. The Bugs 2C apparently has worse video. I've seen both, and this, the Bugs 2W, is a little bit better, but not great. You know? And it's crazy fast in GPS mode. And, you know, even if GPS is off, it's fast. This is a little faster, to be honest, than this one. You know, and it has GPS return to home, all that stuff. But this has follow me and this doesn't. So if you're into, you know, that follow me stuff, then, you know, this would be the one to get up. Never really done it. I mean, it is cool seeing, you know, you driving your car or riding a bicycle and it's following you. Use the feature a couple of times. It works fine. But some of the things I don't like about either one of these, this one, not like I, I mean, it's not a big deal, but when if you guys have this, the the motor squeak. Right. I don't know if it's the motor itself or the plastic. Sure. It, it has a squeak to it. Wow. It's not as quiet as have... this one. Definitely not. And this one flies. I don't want to say a lot, but it flies smoother Should and is good. definitely Pretty quieter. Quieter than this one. You can tell if you put them flying beside it's each other. You can man. tell a big significant difference between the smoothness of this one versus this one. But the camera is great on the H501S. It's awesome. I mean, I've flown over water, just 
building and it's a totally difference between this and this and they both supposedly have 1080p i think this is more like a 720p camera to be honest and i'm not the only one who feels that way but if you're into aerial photography getting some nice shots and stuff this is the one to go with this one not as much i mean it's decent but to claim it's a 1080p i'm not sure i think they sort of uh made a mistake or something on that one because you know i have a lot of um 720p cameras even my dvr02 fpv camera with a um 720p cam and it's a lot better than this but whatever but i mean like i said i mean they're a little different um but this one has a lot more features and this one flies a little bit better um things i don't like about either one of them this battery door was the biggest pain in the world it was a joke i mean you're finished flying and you're panicking trying to pop this door open and a lot of guys have broken this door you know so it was ridiculous i mean you'd finish your flight you got to get in there and the wires are so small you got to disconnect two batteries try not to pop the battery wire off and it was just a hassle so i added a, a switch to this thing and that remedied the problem you know what i mean so when i'm done flying i just switch it off and if i want to charge the battery flip it open you know balance board bam i'm done this one also the bugs 2w was annoying also i mean i like the the phantom style popping the battery in i like that but when you're done you know this thing just slides right out i hated that you know, I mean, you got to put it in your pocket. I, I don't want to put it in my pocket. I want to leave it there. Most of the quads that are like this, I mean, the battery will sit there pretty snug. So I had to add a switch to eliminate that issue. So I can just, you know, when I'm done, I just leave it in there and just go. All right. So that that's annoying for me. Maybe I'm picky. I don't know. But uh, those are the two things that I didn't like. Another thing I don't like about the the Bugs 2W is I like how the app looks. It's, you know, it gives you a lot of specs, not specs, but it gives you a lot of information and stuff like that. But it tends to crush. And I, you know, there's nothing worse than you're out there and then boom, you know, the video feed is gone. Plus, Wi-Fi FPV kind of sucks. It really, the range on it is really not that far. I mean, you... Most people are lucky to get 300 meters with this thing. This thing, I had 600 meters way out there and I've seen guys go over a kilometer and the 5.8 gigahertz is great. You can also use your, any goggles with this. I've used my VRD2 goggles with this. Picture is great. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot more things, differences between the two, but uh, I mean, it's all about what you want. I mean, this thing flies awesome, a little bit more sportier, but if you want to go long range with this, unless you strap on a, a little camera, a little 5.8 gigahertz camera on there, there's no sense going a thousand meters, right? This one, you can go a thousand meters and it has a built-in monitor right there. And you're able to see where you're at and just return to home if anything, or just fly your way back. Um, I'm, I love them both. This is a totally different experience in terms of just the flight characteristics. It's awesome. This one's great too, but not as smooth and accurate with, you know, it, they're both good, but this one in terms of the flight characteristics, I can say this is a better flyer overall. I'm sure I missed some things guys. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll pr try to throw them up on the screen, the things I forget, but either way you go these are both awesome birds man either way you go the um, mjx bugs 2w or 2c or the hubson h501s either way you go you got a winner on your hands man and they're both fairly priced too all right guys hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and see you guys on the next one all right peace <music>